Welcome to the Summer of Learning. We are Team Sharp, a robotics team from Pittsburgh. And we're going to be spending the summer with you during the Summer of Learning. We will be spending the summer working our way through the Summer of Learning course with you. Keep sending yeah. your questions our way. Wait. This week, you guys had a lot of questions that mostly made sense. And we're going to do our best to answer them with answers that mostly make sense. Our first tip for you guys is to read the directions. But we understand that directions can sometimes be confusing. So if you need any clarification, let us know. That's why we're here. The first issue we're going to talk about is installation. Installation, for the most part, was pretty easy for most of you. You simply had to click the setup manager and it downloaded it for you. But we understand that some of you had issues with installation, whether it be your network connectivity or your firewalls, or you or maybe already had it um, uh, RubyC previously installed. Um, so we're going to talk about some of those error errors that you guys came across. There are two common errors found when installing RubyC: error 1316 and the 9000 error series. Error 1316 occurs when RubyC is already installed on the computer. Instead of installing the program again, the end user should instead activate their license through the Help Manage License menu in RubyC. Any error in the 9000 series occur when there is a network connectivity, firewall, or proxy server issue when connecting to the RobotC activation servers during the activation process. To resolve this, we recommend that the end user check with their IT department for assistance with this issue. If you have any other questions about insta installation, please keep sending your technical emails to support at robotc.net. If you have any further technical issues or get an error code outside of what we've already talked about, please send us an email with a thorough explanation of your issue and we'll do our best, best to help you. Now that we've installed, let's talk about the Orchard Challenge. The most common question we received about the Orchard Challenge was that you couldn't get the challenge complete. While we did make mistakes as we went through this challenge, there is a way to achieve success. Here are some of the things we suggest. Don't forget to stay close to the trees or, in other words, stay on the brown path as much as possible. Also, the robot needs to run completely to the white end block. Don't forget to follow the instructions closely for each of these challenges. We hope you had fun during the first week of the summer of learning. We look forward to seeing you next week when we talk about sensors. <laughs>